Uh, in studio with Matt Umstead. Matt, good morning to you. Good morning. And uh, Leah Craigie, who you're going to get to know, and there are some good reasons why in the next 20 minutes here. Leah, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh, tell me about the mural project that's happening and soon to be unveiled in Martinsburg. Yes, one of the initiatives of the uh, 250th uh, uh, Commemoration Steering Committee. Uh, that committee was formed for the celebration of Berkeley County's 250th birthday back in uh, 2021. Uh, was to uh, create, uh, establish a, a mural a public art project, and uh, we decided to uh, do a celebration of uh, Berkeley County history and the and the, and the presentation of, of the public art project. Mm -hmm. And how did you find this lady? Well, I. I was uh, a co-worker actually at uh, our at the uh, my my job at uh, Berkeley County government uh, said uh, you know there's this alum of Martinsburg High School uh, that's a dear friend of mine and uh, uh, she is a great artist she ha actually works in the D Washington DC area uh, I went subsequently found out she was the uh, 2022 Cherry Blossom Festival artist uh, in Washington, uh, and had done a, n a number of other projects, and but yet she never had the opportunity to come back to her hometown where she grew up and went to uh, school, and obviously went off to Shepherd at some point later on, and uh, never had an opportunity to do a project here. And so uh, the committee, after interviewing her and looking at her work, uh, basically had a slam dunk decision. Absolutely, let's, let's bring Leah back for this. So. That's great. Love, love to hear when the local kid comes back to after they've done well elsewhere, huh? Leah, congratulations. Yes. Yeah, I was very grateful for this. Um, it's really nice to be able to do work at home. I've done a lot of public art projects, um, design jobs, and the Cherry Blossom Festival. I designed the whole festival in D.C. in 2022. That's a um, big undertaking. Yes, it was huge. I did all the merchandise. Um, the poster actually won silver medal in the entire world. This is the first time I'm talking about this on air, I think. Nice. Um, and that's of all festivals everywhere for 2022 and all concerts. My poster won silver medal at a big event <laughs> congratulations yeah so wow. it's nice to come home though and do something that's really deeply meaningful to me and to be able to celebrate history that maybe some of us haven't heard about yeah, dylan has the mural that will be unveiled soon go ahead and slide that over so everybody on facebook and on tv 10 in berkeley and jefferson county watching at home can see the mural here tell me about these uh seven i think there are correct Yes, there's seven 10 foot by 10 foot panels. They're made of um, ACM, which is aluminum composite material. And on that, I am hand painting um, seven panels that represent the arts and three portraits of individuals from here. Uh, one of them, of course, hometown hero, Vicki Bullitt. Two of them, Hack Wilson, another hometown hero, and Garland Lorenzo Wilson, who is a jazz pianist that actually was born in Martinsburg and made his, made his way in the 20s to um, Paris to play with the jazz greats. And he's amazing. And his music's beautiful. You can look it up. Mm -hmm. And th that name was Garland Lorenzo Wilson? Yes. Yeah, yep. very good. Really amazing jazz. And what are, the, what are some of the other ones? So the other ones, the first panel celebrates the arts. Um, and in each panel, you'll see blue th flowing through the bottom. That represents the Apecan because the Apecan flows through the whole county. Um, the very first panel is the arts, so we have the Apollo, and I took some creative license here with the Apollo um, marquee. So it's not the exact marquee that was there, but represents the Apollo. Um, we have the Lenape tribe, so the natives that used to live here, their beadwork art is featured. Um, Line Decker, who did the advertising, he was a famous illustrator, and he did the advertising for um, Interwoven and a couple other artists as well. And then in each panel also, you'll see representations of our state creatures, so in our state flowers. So we have the monarch in the first panel. The second panel, we have the cardinal with Garland playing his jazz um, and some cherry blossoms up in the corner. And the third panel represents the agriculture of the area. I personally remember driving by the watercress fields, and I always wanted to go wade through the watercress fields. So, because you're an artist. Yeah. Yes, and that's like, yep, yeah, so it stuck with me. So I feature the watercress there, um, the apples, the peaches, the cherries, all of our agriculture. You're making me hungry, Leah. You're making yeah. me hungry. <laughs> We've got cows. Um, and then the center panel is Vicki Bullitt. I uh, know she's very rec recognizable, and she's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, and in the background behind her, you'll see the Boys and Girls Club and her shooting hoops um, to represent her beginnings here in Berkeley County in Martinsburg. Uh, you've got the rhododendron in that panel featured, and she's holding her gold medal. 
and then in the next panel you will see the airport so the airfield um, and it represents today the history of it um, and the air shows you'll have planes up in the sky representing the air shows and Amelia Earhart's flying card because they have that at the airport here actually in their case in their history mm -hmm. um, and then we have Hack Wilson the baseball player and his um, one of his tickets an actual ticket I researched so this was months and months and months of research put a into lot. like have to one mural to make sure you get every detail correct and you're representing people that you want to represent as the artist you always have to be thoughtful about who you're putting in your mural and what story it tells um, so you'll see hack there and in the last panel it is industry so we have Musselman Apple we have the roundhouse we have the Hannes um, distillery and we have what is the, uh, the water wheel. So the first metal water wheel was actually built here in the world. Was built here. Before that, it was they were wooden. My so goodness. we are innovative. Wh where is this hanging? This is going to hang on the back of the Sunfire and Hearth um, building off of is it Water Street? Is East, East Stephen and East Water. Stephen and Water. Um, so it will be on the back of there. The Roach Oil family. They've been great, and they let us use their building to hang this monumental. I believe monumental mural for Berkeley County. Um, I just think it's really, really important and public art is for everyone. So it's accessible to everyone. Anyone can visit it. The trail is now going behind it. So you can go bike on over or walk over and check out the mural. Yeah. And, and when will this be unveiled? So the unveiling is June 27th at one o'clock, I believe. And there'll be hopefully some food trucks and come have a party with us and now, is <laughs> this celebrate a, the art. Is this an artist's rendering or is this actually hanging right now? This is the rendering. So right now, um, I was lucky and Matt helped me out and I get to paint in the blacksmith studio of the roundhouse with the ghost. The shop. No. The, <laughs> the shop. Okay. Yeah. The shop. Um, she turned it into a studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the coolest <laughs> studio I've ever had. So I'd say. I get to use that as my studio and um, paint. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. John? I find this a, a fascinating thing. So the the subject matters of the of the seven seven murals seven is it is panels all, I panels think. okay yeah. so together collectively it's a mural mm -hmm. okay so the subject matters of each of the panels was was that your idea was it done by committee is it how how does that happen well, we had a we had a committee of about we had a committee of about uh, five people six people out of the greater committee so we had a mural project committee um, and I worked with Leah one-on-one uh, -on -one as the conduit between the committee and the, th the group of five or six folks who we kind of volunteered them <laughs> to help us uh, and uh, and they of course were excited about it so it wasn't even really that but uh, and we just communicated back and forth with with the artists and uh, you know, the origins of this site actually came to mind uh, through the city of Martinsburg, actually. Um, when they were doing some designs and drawings for the trail, they kind of projected the idea, the concept of having a mural on the back of this building. And they actually presented a, in their concept, I don't know if it was CEC, maybe uh, their consulting uh, architect engineer for that project or not, but they had a multi-panel uh, mural kind of concept presented in their drawings for the trail. And we just simply said, sure, we like that idea and let's pursue that uh, that concept. And, and of course, Leah was all on board with that. And then we kind of gradually came to this idea of doing um, a combination of thematic uh, panels, four of them uh, with di four different areas, uh, four different topics, subject matters, and then three profile, uh, three individuals. And, uh, you know, those three individuals, uh, selecting those, I'll just go down that road mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, you know, Garland Lorenzo Wilson is literally unknown in this community. No one knew who he was at all, I don't think. I mean, he's very, very... I've not heard his name there, once. There, there, there's a Wikipedia entry, but there mm -hmm. is no designation of a street in his honor. There's no public portrait. There's nothing. Uh, and he is on iTunes. You can pull up his music and listen to it on iTunes, and it's really cool. It's like super. Uh, and he played all over in Europe and New York City and uh, was fairly famous for being a, a pioneer in jazz piano. And um, so he was virtually unknown. And, one, and like Leah said, we, the part of the uh, initiative was to spotlight uh, people who don't necessarily have as much uh, recognition in the history, heritage, tourism world of, of the community. And Hack Wilson's out there. He has a street named after him, but 
again, not really much else. Um, he, he is buried in Martinsburg, but who goes to a you know a cemetery uh, to see a stone? You know, not very often do you have that. So, um, and then the other individual, Vicky Bullet. Again, she has a street named after her. But how many gold medalists do you have in the community? Uh, any community, anywhere, really, uh, especially the size of Martinsburg. So, uh, and she obviously reached the pinnacle of her, uh, you know, of any career in, in basketball. She accomplished everything you could possibly accomplish and uh, truly has been uh, a role model in the community. So, uh, a great story to tell. And so, one of the efforts, obviously, was to spotlight some of those lesser known stories. And also, hopefully, really, this is just the beginning. Uh, we really want to just we hope this really creates a tidal wave of other public projects, other public art projects. Uh, Leah wants to paint. She wants to paint the town red. <laughs> yeah. Bill, I'm just kidding. Bill Whittington, <laughs> uh, William Whittington on our Facebook page made a suggestion about the soldiers from West Virginia and from Martinsburg who have fought in every war yeah. since the Revolutionary War forward would make an idea for a mural. Right. Uh, it's a town of champions. Uh, some of our research, um, some of my research, really, Martinsburg is, is, is a champion town. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they were so happy about winning the, the Blue Ridge League Championship one year uh, back. Or one, it was maybe the league before it became the Blue Ridge League. They renamed the team the Martinsburg Champions. And, and so, I mean, they've been winning. Martinsburg has been winning. And Berkeley County has been winning. And at the leadership, at the lead of, 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 of innovation, technology, innovation, art, uh, sports for decades. And the Sox, I mean, you know, nowhere else did they produce more men's socks in the world than Martinsburg. I mean, and we're featuring that as she as she described. So this is a celebration not only of, uh, what's, what's the title again, remind me? Uh, uh, Roots and Horizons Celebrating Berkeley County's Journey. Right, yep. and it's it's really a, a, a really a celebration of leadership and being on the cusp and the forefront of so many things. Nope. I'm having a hard time. I'm sorry, mm. I'm having a hard time pulling this location up in my head. Is is this something we can see when it's up, casually as we drive by, or is it a location we have to go to in order to see it? It's it's trail oriented. Okay. So if you walk the Frog Hollow Trail, it's it's okay. You will it'll literally smack you in the face. Well, it looks like it's hard to of, ignore. It, it's, right. It's, it's, Coming yeah. down, if you're going west on Stevens Street uh, from P.O. Faulkner Park the, toward uh, toward uh, downtown, mm -hmm. you'll you'll it'll smack you yeah. right there. Okay. You'll you you won't miss it. I'm sorry, Bill. Yeah, no, not fine. Um, Matt, I, I was going to ask that is is this something we can do throughout the county? Um, I know the commission's behind this, and and I'm, I'm glad that they are. But I think this is. This is incredible. I, I, I'm, I'm just listening to this, and I'm like thinking, Leah, how do you, how do you come up with every little intricate part that you did, and you and you classify as being monumental? Mm -hmm. um, seven seven panels. How long does it how long does it take to do one panel? Much less to be able to get everything in. How much time has been invested in this? Oh, a year. Like a year. That's all. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then the painting. Actually, I'm pretty. I'm pretty quick once I get started, when I get in a flow. Um, my husband usually is with me, and he just kind of steps back, and he just, you know, and then time Paint's passes. Paint's just flying everywhere, right? Yes. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty neat, but <laughs> it's always on me. It's on my glasses. Um, I've drank paint water accidentally before, so, you know, you never <laughs> yeah. know. It gets dangerous. But, you know, um, health department violation, though. Yes, yeah, yeah, we just won't talk about that. Yeah. But once once I get started, and, and I'm really in the the headspace and the flow of things and I'm in my art zone um, it goes pretty quickly but these are 10 foot by 10 foot and once you you know you can kind of visualize that but once you're in front of it it's like oh okay and these come in five foot by 10 foot pieces so then they piece them together so I'm actually painting 14 different parts and I'm painting them or else all. you're going to be doing on scaffolding and ladders yes and, and to avoid that I'm painting them all horizontally so I'm actually painting everything sideways so <laughs> I have no idea how I do it because people ask me how I do things. I'm like, I, I don't know. I step back, and you can ask my husband again. I'm like, did I? I did that? You know, it's, it's still shocking to me. Um, That's wild. So, yeah, I just and all the research, I guess, just turns into a visual image, and my my mind is so visual. Going through school, I had trouble taking notes. I really couldn't audibly take notes, but I could look at the book, take a mental snapshot in my head, close my eyes. And then use that during the test and just kind of read the book in my mind. So oh. you You're like realize, the guy from Suits. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> if he's a good guy, yes, I'll be like it. <laughs> but um, so I turn these things into visual ideas. Um, all the research goes in and just comes out. Do you sketch it out first? 
and I then do. translate that into the larger scale? Yeah, I place <clears throat> things on, um, I'll make a mock-up, um, pencil and paper, like just basic. And then I also go through and make a digital image. So I will digitally draw it in my iPad. Um, and these, I actually had a underdrawing printed onto the aluminum. So that way, knock on wood or, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> if there happens to be, which there won't be any vandalism, um, you kind of have to think of head. If we have to clean something off, there's always an underdrawing now. So I think, I haven't seen another artist do this yet, but I think it's important to, to think ahead and maybe think of worst case scenarios <laughs> ahead of time. Yeah. Um, I wasn't going to ask that question because I didn't want to jinx anything. But this is outside, it's right? Reality. So it's reality. Yeah, yeah, so that's good to hear. Yeah. yeah some yeah. people are idiots. And the, yes. build, and the building owners uh, working with us, uh, they, they're installing some night lights and yeah. some mm -hmm. cameras, and they're taking some steps. They're doing a great job. Speaking of cameras, do you get filmed while you are creating your art? So... Usually whoever's with me assisting me, um, I'll just have, or I'll do it myself. I do time-lapse yeah. videos of the actual painting. So I'll have a bunch of those at the end. Um, Could we, I would love to get those from you. We okay. would love to air those on the on this TV yeah, station. Yeah, that would be great. Yep, and I have photos and I have regular time video as well. But time-lapse is really cool because you can see all the brush marks and everything that goes into it. It looks very easy. <laughs> you know, this, this, this resonates with, um, Kimberly Nelson was in, uh, talking about her campaign for mm -hmm. uh, city council. And she was emphasizing arts, 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 arts. She's really into bringing arts into um, into Martinsburg. And then there's this. And I'm thinking, and, and with, and with the, the the theater, and if this, to turn Martinsburg, to center that, of course, arts are important to me as well. And to center, to, to make Martinsburg the an arts center would be really cool. Yeah. And if anybody knew a well, documentary if, if filmmaker, if you have a cool. vibrant cultural district, then you have a vibrant restaurant district. That's right. Yes. And then you have a vibrant town. And the and the city of Martinsburg has such a a, a charming character, downtown character that is still preserved, perhaps unintentionally, mm -hmm. but it is it's still it's like a little time capsule. Yeah. When, when you look at it, the, the Queen Street corridor down there it's i it, this is very exciting and that's what comes to mind when i look at these seven panels that's a time capsule yeah mm -hmm. the amount of the span of history the rich history that we have in berkeley county and martinsburg is just displayed within those seven panels yeah what's the lifespan of that hanging how long do they usually last it says 15 years Fif but i think it's a lot longer honestly if you see these um murals i use bear paints so and bear has a 15 year lifespan and they're my favorite paint really and then also i use sherwin williams um i must say they've helped us out here the local shop and they've been wonderful so all the colors i need i realize you know oh, i need a blue i can run over there and get it and they have it ready for me in seconds um and i have visions we were talking about through the town you know these panels make it possible to put murals on historic buildings that's why we chose these panels because they're not going to ruin the building you're not painting directly on the brick and they're also movable like god forbid something happens to this building or something and you want to move a panel you can move the panels and they're individual portraits was my idea so that way if we wanted to we could move it across town or we can start hiring artists to paint other murals throughout town and in my research there was so much rich history there was a woman named Miss Sugar that used to do hair for people on Burke Street and I would love to make a portrait of her and put it on that side of town and I think of things in terms of what will get the community out and get the community interested and and revive the town for them it's easy to get lost in everyday life sure. and forget about how interesting your town is so if we put these murals throughout the city that could be a scavenger hunt i've done things for other cities i'm going to do one um, in gaithersburg soon and you could create something that leads to the next panel across town and then comes back to this side of town or out into the countryside you know it could be a never-ending thing and martinsburg could really be an art city and it brings in so much revenue. There's an actual study done. Um, I have a booklet. There's a place called Coda Works. If you go online and you look it up, it discusses public art and how much it brings cities back to life. And sure. our, we're already vibrant. 
But imagine what we could do if people were coming in just to see the different art that we have. And have we can do contemporary as well. Have you painted actual buildings? And, and made, uh, there's a really cool one in Boonesboro when you get to the, the traffic light there mm. at the intersection where the, the, the famous inn is. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's on the right side. It actually looks like there's somebody working out of a side window, but it's a mm -hmm. painting. Yeah. And there's one. In, there's a couple in Frederick actually that are really pretty awesome on Market Street that people yeah. have done. I'm actually painting a dog park mural right now in Frederick, and along with seven others. Where's your, where, where are you painting in Frederick? So that's on East Street, and I think. 17th or 16th I forget the cross street mm -hmm. um, but that one and then for the company that I'm painting that for I'm painting murals inside of their complex they have the first 100% solar apartment complex Upper East in Frederick and I'm painting a bunch of murals for them throughout their complex um, the love windows and colonial jewelers windows on the corner of Market and Patrick and yeah. Frederick it says love. Those are my windows, so I designed those. Um, oh, cool. Matt, it sounds like you got a lot of work ahead of you to try to find <laughs> yes. more locations so we can keep Leah Let's local. Keep <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a problem. I, I think I think once folks see this mural, I think they're going to be ex really excited. I won't have to necessarily it's, do it. And, and the unveiling is when, Matt? Huh? With the unveiling yeah. officially, uh, the uh, reception dedications uh, is one o'clock on December uh, December <laughs> June twenty seventh June twenty seventh one p.m. at the uh, at Sunfire. Very nice. Well, yeah. congratulations, Matt, on getting this going, and and Leah, great to meet you. Thank you. And uh, yeah. we look forward to seeing your completed project. If yeah, I, thank if, you. If I could just add, this project wouldn't have been possible without support from the CVB, um, uh, Berkeley County uh, Commission, and many other partners. Yeah. Very good. Good to see you. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Good thank to you, see man. you all. Nine oh three. This is Talk Radio WRNR Martinsburg and TV Ten.